The next pattern in the Dealing with Generalization series is called Extract Interface. The motivation behind this pattern is that you have several clients that use the same subset of a class's interface, and you want to extract that subset into its own explicit interface. In this example, we have this timesheet, which depends on an employee, and for a given span of days, we'll get a charge for that employee. We'll calculate a charge for that employee. And then the employee class, of course, just has the rate and whether or not that employee has a special skill for some additional business logic here. But let's assume that this employee class is part of a larger domain of shared functionality across the business, and a lot of applications are going to use it. This timesheet class, on the other hand, is part of a single application that just the payroll department uses. Well, instead of seeing all of what an employee has to offer that it doesn't really need, what it really needs is just these two things. And so instead of depending on an entire employee, it could depend on just a subset of that functionality. So let's create that subset now. We'll call this interface billable. And of course, employee can now implement billable. And we haven't really changed anything. We could run all of our tests again, but nothing's, nothing's been altered here. Now let's add our um, our interface items here. This one is rate, and all we have to do is get that and has special skill. All we have to do is get that as well. We don't need to have any setters for this functionality. Now we can rebuild as a sanity check and it'll be a good time to run all of our tests. Nothing's really changed because nothing uses this new interface. But now, again assuming that these are part of a shared component elsewhere, and this is just part of a particular application, that application can now use just that interface. And so now, for any given employee, we only see the rate and the special skill. So we might have other fields that we don't really need for this application, something like uh, a name. We don't see that because we're just using the interface. And conversely, we can actually have uh, additional objects implement this interface, and this timesheet class or this uh, payroll application wouldn't need to know the difference. We could have other resources that could be billed out to clients that aren't necessarily employees. So we might even rename this to reflect that. That's pretty much it for the extract interface pattern. Thanks for watching.